NASCAR teams limited to three charters? Okay. Three, two, one. What's up, everyone? Todd Brown, That Racing Show. Thanks for dropping by for this pit stop segment. Interesting news coming down here in the last day from Adam Stern with reports that NASCAR charters moving forward could be limited to three. I love this idea. I love this so much. I think this is great. Uh, we're going to talk about all that. We're going to talk about charters, drivers, everything here in just a moment. Um, but obviously, teams that have four cars right now under their banner would be able to be grandfathered in keep their deal but with the new proposed deal between nascar and team owners it could be limited at three and once again i like this idea and uh the big talk you know everything with this stems around stuart haas racing what's going to happen there they sell in two charters they sell in four charters they sell in one charter it's still so many questions right there but it does look like four charters are going to be up there on the auction block and uh like I say, I love this because I, I didn't want to see one team be able to come in and buy a couple charters. I wanted to see this be spread out. And uh, with this, that's what's going to happen. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at the teams that I see as possibly getting these charters right here. And also, the drivers at Stuart Haas, where do they go? And who gets into these new charters um, if they do sell like this? So let's start out with the charters, if all four do sell. Number one on the list I see is 2311 for all the obvious reasons. Michael Jordan owning this team, Denny Hamlin there. Um, successful team in so many ways, right from the beginning, and uh, they wanna grow. They've got the money, they got Toyota behind them. This is gonna happen. So I'm gonna put a check mark right there that 2311 gets one of these, no doubt in my mind. Now the second team is Trackhouse Racing. For many obvious reasons, again, Trackhouse got four drivers on the roster, one, spot would be open so they definitely need that got drivers out on loan right now they don't want to continue doing that uh so this is going to be interesting right here as well i see them as getting one of these charters so check mark beside track house now the third team that i see is definitely getting one of these it's going to be front row motorsports um and for a lot of reasons one being that stuart haas they do close down that's four four teams off the racetrack Ford wants more cars out there, so I see this happening and uh, them picking up a third charter and uh, good drivers to come along with it. A lot of reasons for people to be interested in this team because they got great speed and uh, there's just a lot of talk about them this year. So very interested to see if they get this third charter, which I think they will. So three of them with a check mark. Now this brings me to the fourth and final charter. A lot of people, a lot of names involved with this still right here. And uh, I'm going to name couple here and that's rcr a lot of talk about rcr you know austin hill needing to get up to the cup series very deserving of a cup series ride but hasn't been able to get there yet uh, me personally i feel they're not going to do this i don't think they're going to pull the trigger on this uh for different reasons which i'm going to go into here in just a moment um, but i'm putting that on the not so likely to happen list right now uh, another one rfk rfk out there being really successful right now as a two-car team, uh, you know, Roush downsized in the past. Uh, I think they're comfortable. I think they're very comfortable where they're at. I know there's talk, everything else, and obviously with charters being so limited, you want to jump on them when they're available. But still in all, I think they're very comfortable where they're at. So I'm going to put that over there on the probably not likely bin. Um, but who knows? Who knows with these situations? Uh but the, the other one is Dale Jr., Jr. Motorsports. Moving up to the Cup Series. Been a talk for a long, long time. Obviously, now prices are you know, being quoted as being cheaper for this. Maybe $20, $30 million. So be easier for Jr. to get his own charter. Uh, but also that talk about him possibly joining another team, a single-car team that's already established. And uh, this makes more sense to me right here to partner up with JTG Doherty. And them have a two-car team, Junior being, uh, you know, the decision maker over one of them, being kind of the top dog with one of the teams, but look at it. That'd be a two-car team, be beneficial for the whole team with that right there. Obviously, Junior, if he got his own deal with his own, he got that affiliation with Rick Hendrick, but I would rather see him do something completely on his own like this, which JTG Doherty has got an affiliation with Rick Hendrick too, but uh, this just feels different. 
to me. So I'd like to see this. They could attract a good driver, attract a good sponsor, and uh, and make some things happen. You know, and, and then the, the last one, Legacy. I just personally don't feel Legacy is ready for a third charter. Um, I think they got a lot of things they got to work out now with their two cars they have currently. But again, this is not like an open market. You can buy them any time. So with Toyota being behind them, drivers that need to come up the pipeline, this could be a situation where Legacy is able to snag one of these because uh, I think it's going to come down not only to money, but futures, uh, so much going into this. Now I want to talk about the drivers who are eligible for these spots. You know, obviously, uh, Stuart Haas closes down four drivers out of a ride. You're going to have Chase Briscoe, Josh Berry, Noah Gregson, Ryan Priest. They're going to be looking for rides. They're going to be looking for a new home. Um, and then you're going to have these new charters looking for new drivers. So let's go back to the list of who I think is going to make it as far as getting charters. 2311, I put Corey Heim in that car. No doubt. He's already getting in there with him this year. Been running some of the other. Uh, you know, this is just a guy who I think is polished. I think he's he's ready enough to get in this car. Uh, Chandler Smith's name is already out there as well. But I think Corey Heim is just a little more polished uh, to get behind the wheel and do something like this. And, uh, you know, just seems like a done deal right there all the way around. Now, track house, this is interesting because, again, they got four guys on the roster. Um, they pick up this. They'll still only have three charters. So that means somebody's got to go out uh, to another team again or something like that. I see Zane Smith getting the uh, the green light for the charter, new charter with this right here for different reasons. Uh, obviously, Shane Vangisbergen, you know, went to Chicago. All the limelight was on him. He's doing great right now and everything. Uh, but Shane is 35 years old. Zane is 24. Zane's got a long future in this Cup Series, and uh, he's somebody to invest with for a long time. Uh, where, again, Shane's got a little age on him right there right now and uh, still polishing himself up enough for the Cup Series to run full-time. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen right there with that. And my other question has been for a long time, how long is Shane going to stay here and run NASCAR? You know, I don't know if this is a deal he's wanting to do for a long time or if he's going to want to go home and get back into the supercars and finish his career there um, because it seems like, you know, that's probably what's going to happen in the end because everybody wants to go home and just uh, retire happily. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that right there. Now, front row, this is a team that could take some of them Stuart Haas drivers. Uh, and the two that come to the top for me is going to be Josh Berry and Noah Gregson. Uh, the one interesting thing right here is because with Stuart Haas closing, Rodney Childers is going to be out of a job. This could be a package deal with Berry and Childers. You take Rodney Childers over there to front row, they could be a real solid threat uh, really fast. So I could see this happening. And also, Noah Gregson, he's put some sponsors on there now. He's doing great. Um, a different Noah. We're seeing a different Noah this year. And uh, so he's kind of an attractive asset to some of these these teams right here. So I can see that as well. But personally, I'm kind of still leaning towards maybe him going over there to call a grace and still uh, obviously had that connection with him in 2022. There are still bouncing some people around in cars. You'd love to have somebody in there full time. Uh, obviously, AJ out of there because he didn't have the sponsor money. So the right things happen for Noah. I could see him in that 16 car full time. But uh, then that brings us to, uh, you know, Chase Briscoe here with this situation. Um, Chase, so many people saying going to the 21 car. I think this is a great idea. I think Chase would be more successful in the 21 car than he has been with Stuart Haas racing because he would be the main focus. He would be the one guy, the only guy that they got to concentrate on where he's had these partnerships and teammates that, uh, Things are spread out. And he's also, they got that association with Penske. So I think this would be a win-win for him and for the Wood Brothers with this situation. Now, this brings me to the last guy there for Stuart Haas, which is Ryan Priest. And uh, a lot of people saying he's out. You know, he could go back to Xfinity and everything else. But the team I got to bring into this is Rick Ware Racing. Um, this is a possibility right there. You know, it's, it's crazy because it was just a year ago we were talking about Rick Ware could lose their charter for not finishing up in the top of the 33 in the point standings. Uh, if you do that for three years, you can have your charter pulled. And uh, they've turned it around. You know, Justin Haley coming over there, having more success. And that 15 car, once again, is a car that people are kind of in and out of. And I know they would love to have somebody in there full time. So if Ryan Priest was able to get some sponsorship money, um, 
I could see this as a possibility. Uh, in truthfulness, there was an opportunity where Ryan Priest was talked about going to that 15 car uh, before the opening come at Stuart Haas. So could be something that happens, but I think this is going to kind of have to sit there and wait to see where the other three drivers go because if something doesn't happen for them, I could see Rick Ware being a possibility, but I think they're all safe as to where they'll go. But anyways, interesting, interesting things to happen. I think we're going to be hearing about this and different things uh, in June, early July. I think soon we're going to start hearing silly season really take off with uh, some different signings, different things happening. So I'm very interested in looking forward to it. And uh, I hope you are. I want your your comments, your opinions. Who do you think is going to end up in these rides? Do you think these uh, guys are going to get the charters? Do you think Stuart Haas is going to sell them all? I mean, so many cool questions right now that... Uh, Man, I'm interested to find out. But anyways, uh, Charlotte this weekend. Love this. Mile and a half. Uh, we're going to see if Charlotte can uh, keep up with the other mile and a half this year and put on a good show. Uh, 600 miles. And also, the 8 and the 47. Going to be interested to see how they race uh, each other. Each one's talked about it this week. Said, you know, it's, it's cool and everything else. But we'll see when they get on the racetrack. So a lot of interesting things to look forward to at Charlotte. Once again, Throw them comments down below. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button right there. Give this episode a like. And man, let's talk some racing because uh, there's a lot to talk about. But anyways, hope you're having a great day out there. And as always, we'll see you at the checkered flag.